present perfect tense. You can find this information in your book, chapter four. If you look in the textbook, this video will cover chart 4-1 on page 81, chart 4-2 on page 83, and you should also look at the inside cover of your book, the front and the back. There's a verb chart. You will need to memorize this verb chart. That is very important. Memorize the verb chart you may have a pop quiz about the verb chart. First of all, there are three main forms of a verb. The simple present, I go to school every day, or he goes, with an ES, to school every day. Simple past, I went to the gym yesterday, and the past participle, I have gone to the store already. We use the past participle with a form of the verb have. You will always see the past participle with has or have or had. The past participle is sometimes the same as the simple past form. But when the verb is irregular, it's different, like with go, went and gone. Now your turn. In simple present, it's, I do my homework in the evenings. So what are the answers for simple past and the past participle? If you don't know, look in your book. Okay, this should be very easy. The answers are, I did my homework yesterday evening, and I have done my homework already. Now we're going to talk about the present perfect. This is a verb tense that describes past actions. Even though it's called the present perfect, it's about events in the past. Always about events in the past. Now, I introduced the past participle because you will need it to create the present perfect. The present perfect has two possible meanings. One, it could describe an event that started in the past and is still happening now. It hasn't finished yet. The present perfect can also describe an event that happened in the past and it's finished but we simply don't know when it happened in the past. You need to use has or have plus the past participle. This is why it's the present perfect. It's a present form of the verb have, and then perfect means use the past participle. Some examples. I have seen that movie many times have plus the past participle of the verb see, seen. She has known him for three months. Has plus the past participle of the verb know. You do the next one. What is the correct answer? If this was your choice, good job. He has been to the restaurant before. Very easy. Now, when you use present perfect for meaning number one, let's go back. Do you remember meaning number one? An event that began in the past and continues to the present. That's what we're going to talk about first. In that case, almost always, we use since or for. We use since with a specific date and we use for with a length of time. Let me show you. Since. She has known him since November. Specific time, November. For. She has known him for three months. Length of time, three months. You do the next one. Fill in the correct form of the verb and choose since or for.
Let's look at the answers. They have lived in Norfolk for one year because it's a length of time. They have lived in Norfolk since January 2012. That's a specific date, so we use since. Now, for practice, please turn to your book and do exercise 5 on page 84 and exercise 7 on page 85.